Today is my first day after my second eye surgery for RK. Uh, I had my RK surgery done in 1989 and I found Dr. Hulani um, back last fall and uh, I had my first left eye done in January, very successful. And seven weeks later, I'm here and I had my right eye done yesterday. I am seeing fantastic. Uh, at first, you know, Dr. Gulani thought I might need extra surgery, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Um, my experience for the last, you know, since 1989 is uh, I've seen many optometrists and nothing can be done. And my eyes, was they were just getting worse and worse and worse. And finally, uh, I had a brave ophthalmologist tell me there was nothing he could do. And then I was sent to a specialist and that was going to be, <laughs> it was so scary because it was basically, he was going to put me in a chair and scrape my eyes. And he thought maybe that would help me see. And I couldn't get out of there fast enough. And that was that was the moment, and I found Dr. Gulani online and started a dialogue. I had my consultation, and here I am. It was basically, I'd say, five months ago, and I am seeing so well, and it's only day two. So do not hesitate. Come see my, my hero uh, on my first surgery when I woke up. I blurted out herodontics. Dr. Galani has performed herodontics. I don't even know what that means, but he is a hero because he leaves no one behind. And that's what a hero does. Uh, my experience at uh, the Galani Vision Institute has been fantastic. Um, I don't see a lot of doctors, but he has no peers. His, uh, his staff is top notch. They're so friendly, they're so nice, kind. Uh, there's no waiting. Um, the day of surgery, you are in a spa, basically. Um, no nervousness, and I would be a very nervous person having surgery since I really don't go to doctors much. And uh, it was, it's just been a wonderful experience. I, I would highly recommend if you have any vision problems and Dr. Galani can help you, this is where you come. You, there's just, he has no peers. It, on the whole planet, he does not have a peer. But uh, we need more doctors to pay attention. Um, he's an example of what to be professionally. And we need more Dr. Gulanis. We need more caring surgeons out there that care about the patients and not the bottom line. Uh, as an RK patient, I, I kind of felt alone. I didn't know that I had such so many uh, peers. And uh, so when you come here and after the day of surgery, we all come back and we share our stories. So you, you meet people from all over the world. And in fact, this morning, um, <clears throat> I met a gentleman from Nebraska and he was here for his first visit. So he was asking me how my experience has been and I think he felt much better at actually talking to someone that has lived this. He said his RK was in 1984, mine was in 1989, so we've had a lot of years uh, being told nothing can be done, or he's, he's had a number of other uh, procedures from doctors, you know, cutting more cuts or scraping or whatever, and uh, he's in good hands now. And I was happy to answer all his questions. He, you know, he, he did ask me quite a few questions and I think he, you know, he felt at ease because I mean, it is what it is. People don't believe it, that this is, uh, you know, staged or somehow manufactured. It is not. I am not that type of person. Uh, I'm very honest and this is where you would come.